Hi everyone, myself Arandam and I am a legal intern at Lexis & Company. Today we will be discussing on the topic of electronic evidence and how technology has helped uh, law to flourish in the uh, today's uh, evol evolution and globalization era. So uh, let's get started. So the 21st century saw a technological revolution which enshrined not only India but the whole world. The use of computers is not only limited to established organizations, institutions, but available uh, to every individual at swipe of their fingers. Information technology has eased out almost to every humanized action. In the age of cyber world, as the application of computers become more popular, there was an expansion in the growth of technology. The evaluation of uh, information technology gave birth to cyberspace, where internet provides equal opportunity to all the people to access any information, data storage, analyze, etc. with the use of high technology. This increasing reliance on electronic means or communications, e-commerce and storage of information in digital form has most certainly caused a need to transform the laws relating to information technology and rules of admissibility of electronic evidence both in civil and criminal matters in India. The proliferation of computers and the influence of information technology on society as a whole coupled with the ability to store and uh, amass information in digital form have all necessized demands in Indian law to incorporate the provisions on the appreciation of a digital evidence. The Information Technology Act to, uh, in the year of 2000 and its amendments are based on the UNICTRAL model, the Un United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, model law and on electronic commerce or the e-commerce. So the Information Technology Act was amended to allow the admissibility of digital evidence. An amendment to the Indian Evidence Act, uh, the Indian Penal Code 1860 and the Banker's Book Evidence Act 1891 provides the legislative framework for transactions into electronic world. The type of evidence that we are dealing with has been variously described as electronic evidence or e-evidence, digital evidence or computer evidence. The word digital is commonly used uh, in computing and electronics especially where physical world information is converted to binary numeric forms. Now, uh, uh, de definition of digital evidence include information of probative value stored or transmitted in binary forms and information stored or transmitted in binary form that may be relied on the court. Admi how is uh, this admissibility of electronic records? Section 65A of the Indian Evidence Act provides the contents of electronic records may be proved in accordance uh, with the provisions of section 65b of the evidence act thus any documentary evidence by way of an electronic record can be proved only in accordance with the procedure as prescribed under 65b of the evidence act section 65b of the evidence act provides that notwithstanding anything contained in the evidence act any information contained in an electronic record whether it be the content of a document or a communication printed on a paper, a stored, recorded, copied in optical or magnetic media produced by a computer is deemed or it is deemed to be a document and is admissible in evidence without further proof of the production of the original subject to satisfaction of the conditions set out in section 65 B sub clause 2 uh, to section 65 clause B sub clause 5 of the evidence act. So this was all about the Indian evidence act and uh, this uh, particular digital technology. The Information Technology of India or the Information Technology, the IT Act has uh, gone through vast change due to the changes in the circumstances and the changes in the global um, field of India and with it also we have seen a change in the particular uh, uh, alternative dispute resolution techniques. Uh, of course not in India right now but in other countries where e-arbitration is uh, taking a huge role or uh, is uh, taking a huge role in actually uh, online dispute resolution. So ADR is changing into ODR. So and in this COVID period we are also seeing that the courts have changed into online courts or digital courts. For a period of time or uh, for how much period of time we don't know but it has been changed. So that is the new normal. We actually uh, have to believe in this fact that things will go digital you know not today not after uh, things are going digital now but uh, after a couple of 10 years or 20 years we'll see that uh, things have completely gone digital 
you know remote work is the new uh, way of doing things so online dispute resolution techniques electronic evidences and all of this uh, will generally come into force come into play uh, once these things go digital once this whole of the country goes digital so that was all about today's video on electronic evidence uh, i guess uh, you have no doubts if you have some doubts please do comment in the comment section below and let us know and please do like comment and subscribe to the channel thank you